it's a question time event and it's the opportunity for our members to be able to ask questions that are business related that are affecting them and their businesses. So we have this evening Dominic Rabb who's a local MP, the leader of Surrey County Council and the regional director for Lloyds Bank. What I think they're trying to achieve this evening is to bring businesses together and give them the opportunity to interact and ask questions to those people responsible. It's important that uh, the panel understands the sort of issues that are affecting small businesses. And the great thing about a night like tonight is it gives us in the banking sector an opportunity to talk about the issues in a very healthy environment and a, a, and a constructive way. Dominic Rabb is a local MP and uh, for Water and Anisha and he is very keen on small business issues. There's huge number of lobbying groups, it's a very competitive field, but if they get their pitch right, if there's good empirical work that they're doing, if they set up a forum like this where you get some really meaningful uh, feedback, rather than just lobbying for some hobby horse, I think it's really valuable. David Hodge is the leader of Surrey County Council. And our objective is to do everything we can to help small businesses in Surrey become better and able to make better opportunities for them to get obtain contracts with the county. And we have a representative from uh, uh, the FSB putting across the FSB case and uh, our policies as to how we react to some of the things that are affecting small businesses. In the light of the banks still not lending or offering unaffordable terms to small businesses, should there be an alternative government-backed business development bank set up? We are uh, in the throes of waiting for the funding for lending scheme to take shape, but we will be key participators in that. So overall, if you look at the volume of lending and the pricing that we're putting lending out at, yes, we're under pressure because the cost of lending has gone up. You know, I would contend that, yes, of course, if you're looking for a small, unsecured uh, loan facility, uh, that is a newly founded business, you will not expect to borrow at four over base. And well, there the rates may well <coughs> move to, you know, to a, a, a eight to ten over base. But fundamentally, I would say, one, yes, lending facilities are there. Two, the risk climate has changed. <coughs> uh, but three, notwithstanding that, we are lending. And I suppose the real question is, do most businesses actually want loans or do they want working capital? And I think the overall arching thing is that people need help with working capital. And that's why a lot of the targets aren't being met because bank businesses aren't actually going to the banks to ask for loans. What can we, the FSB members, do to persuade central government that money earned in an area by businesses and paid as part of their NNDR should be retained in that area to the benefit of businesses and their customers and staff? It's about 50% of the business rates of Surrey, which has traditionally gone out of Surrey every year. We actually need some infrastructure funding to be brought into Surrey to relieve congestion, things like uh, with the A3, how do we get more businesses, how do we en enlarge the Guildford Business Park, how do we create other business parks in Surrey to create more jobs. What we need to try and do in Surrey is stop people travelling out of Surrey, getting into cars to travel to businesses. It's getting jobs locally and actually building our SME base because that really is going to be the long-term future. I think you have to be constantly giving them feedback in order that they can maybe try and help some of the issues that are affecting small businesses. It's only if business engages uh, amongst fellow SME owners and also with uh, people in government, local government, tonight, the banks as well, that we really have a good exchange of information, good exchange of views. The, the FSB, I find, is, is terrific in terms of just pooling ideas and, and having a sounding board for you know, and identifying problems that either we have, we find solutions through talking to other members. Indirectly it's been great for my business because I know they're representing the issues that I'm struggling with on a day-to-day -day basis and those of my customers. If you really want to um, find the, the, pro the solutions to the problems you have, particularly in a recession, um, you're going to find them in the FSB. We all share our worries and uh, our aspirations. We do understand that businesses, when they come together, create greater opportunities. I've uh, actually had some fantastic opportunities from coming. I joined the FSB because it's an important organisation with 200,000 members, probably the largest in Europe, that represents the views of small businesses. I wanted to be a part of a strong team. And I've seen the support that the FSB gives to their members. I think that's really important from a small business point of view. I was interested in the protection that it offered. For instance, if I were to um, have a tax inspection, I don't want to stop doing my business while I sort out all that. Even if it's just for the 
for the fact that they got free legal advice if and when they needed it, a phone call away, even if it was only for that. FSB on the whole was started by business people, for the business people. There's a huge difference in the quality of the different lobby groups around. I, for me, I think the FSB is one of the best. I absolutely believe all small business should actually join the FSB or a similar organisation. It's very affordable for a small business. Every small business should join the FSB, actually. Give it um, a bit more power. Because the louder our voice, the more say we have at where it counts at government level. I really recommend joining.